Hello and welcome to Dash's All Access. I'm Aaron Martin. And I'm Brittany Tulis. And we are in playoff mode. But yeah. before that, we've got two home games against Brewster. It'll be our final two home games of the regular season. First game went to a shootout. We yeah. haven't seen a shootout here all season. We haven't seen overtime here all season, let alone a shootout. Played an amazing game throughout the entirety of it. It was very physical. First time seeing three on three for me live here. And it was right. awesome. It was so exciting. I don't know, I love three on three. Three on three is very exciting because you don't know what's going to happen. You have to decide whether you're going offensive or you're going defensive as far as your personnel is concerned. We went very heavily offensive. They went very heavily defensive, so we went to the shootout. Unfortunately, they did get they did get over on us, like, but that goaltender was on. He was. Brent Clark's shot in the shootout, I think, is my favorite. It was awesome, but the goaltender... That kick save. Yes, he got it. Was it. A, it was a good kick save by their goalkeeper, Bowden. Yeah. Did a very, very good job. Yes, yeah, so he was in the goal tonight, and uh, we kind of got the better of him tonight, to be honest. We had a win, 5-3. to three. The last one was an empty netter, but so a lot of four goals tonight, as opposed to his one goal last night. Good. Same thing tonight, though. A lot of just craziness tonight. We had multiple fights. A lot had of penalties tonight. A lot of penalties. I, I think the, fi the final tally was like five penalties for us. Six for them. Yeah. That's a lot of penalties in one game, and so many stoppages in play for whatever reason, mostly physicality. Yes, I saw a lot of um, red out there, a lot of blood dripping from several players, ours and theirs, which is personally I don't like to see, but it's a good talkie, so. And there's a lot of corner battles tonight, which is something I love to see because those are so crucial in the game and kind of overlooked by the regular fan. Well, it's something we've been kind of critical about too. As the season's gone on, we've said a lot of times that we're not there for rebounds and we're not there for the board battles. And the corner battles, as you said tonight, crucial in letting us have the game flow. A lot of passing tonight. Most of that stemmed from those corner battles that we were winning though. Also, you're talking about rebounds. I think it was Schwartz who got his own rebound and yeah. put it in the back of the net. So that was great. Well, speaking of Schwartz, also was in a couple of fights tonight too. At one point, he was actually standing up in the penalty box as high up as he could go to yell at the other team who he had just fought. What a player he's become for us, not only on the offensive and defensive side, because he's all over the ice, but yeah. we've been needing that really physical force. And we got it when we traded for Schwartz about uh, a couple months ago, I, think, I believe it was, and it's helped a lot. Also, speaking of physicality, Garrett Sargis is throwing his weight around like I have never seen before. He's been more of a goal scorer in my opinion, but tonight he was not taking anything from anybody. Putting the weekend behind us, we've got the playoffs coming up. Yeah. We are guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. We locked that up at some point last week, I believe it was. Danbury has already taken the first spot. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the playoffs, Brittany? Tonight was a great start, of the, like a great end of the regular season, a good like push to the playoffs, and I want to see us just kind of keep that going with even more intensity, especially against Port Huron. We have had a lot of... A lot of ups and downs yeah, this season. Yeah, a lot of ups and downs this season, especially with Port Huron. It seems like one game we just annihilate them, and another game it's like we forgot yeah. to show up that day. I, I think that Port Huron is going to be a very interesting and crucial test for us at the beginning because Port Huron is the team that has given us fits both at home, on the road. They are what essentially, what I, what I would say is that they are essentially our rival right now. It's going to be a great series. Remember too, folks, this is a two out of three game series. This isn't best of five. You have to win two, and that's it. So there's no room for error, and we've, like you said, we've had a lot of games where we just didn't show up. Can't do that in the playoffs. I think it's going to be a, a good uh, chance for us to show that we can be that consistent team that we were at the beginning of the season. So how does it feel to be back in the Commissioner's Cup Championship hunt? It was awesome. Great. It's what I came back for. I think there's been a lot of drive. Um, a lot of guys either came back because it felt like you had you know, unfinished business. It's not something that you dwell on every day, but I, I know a lot of the guys that were back here from last year, uh, you know, they, they want to avenge that and, and, and take advantage of, of, of our opportunity this year uh, to, to win it. How does it feel going from coaching a championship team to potentially playing on one? Uh, actually, I'm excited. I'm excited to be on this side of the end of it now. Um, it was fun last year, but it's going to be even more fun uh, being on the ice. You feel like, you know, you're in the corners uh, battling with everyone else to, to win that prize. What do you want to see from the Dasher Nation in this playoff season? Uh, I hope we have a lot of rowdy crowds. Fans of the Dashers, we're going to be needing you guys to go crazy. Uh, no shirts, like over the head, Everybody like painted no chest. Oh, some people <laughs> Some people get shirts on if they want you. Know, I don't know what's that. I like your outfits. Who decided to paint the shirts? 
This guy. This guy right here. Right Wait a minute, will he have shirts on? The biggest I don't know if you noticed, but this is all skin, baby. All skin. <laughs> Obviously, you've seen when we've had this place packed, the energy uh, from the fans is unbelievable, and players feed off that, and that'll be a, a you know one of the keys to success for us, too. Like, like last night, it was just, it was electrifying. I'd never seen this place like last night. Like you know, and that's what you want. Like the players love it. They feed off it. You know, you come out. Like I even felt it on the bench last night. I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. So I hear the Let's Go Dashers chant. I hear the Let's Go Affy chant. Uh, sometimes I hear like, Levesque, you're the best ever. But that's I think that's just me though. Like I might just be making that up. So this is our last episode for the regular season, and I'd like to say personally, I'm super like appreciative that I got to work with this organization. They're Great to work with, but not only the players, but the staff, the director of game day operations, Diane Short. Without her, we wouldn't be able to do this at all. Same thing with the cooperation of Coach Harrison. So I'd like to say thank you to both of them for letting us do this and to let us bother the players. I'd like to take a big shout out right now for our director, Dave Rediger. Uh, wonderful in the editing room, making us look good. So yeah, thank you, Dave Rediger. Do. And thanks to the Dazzler. Dazzling over there. Devin Roberts. <laughs> See you for the next playoff episode. Pepper. Alright, so did coming so close to winning it influence how you played this season? <laughs> what was that? Oh, it was a puck. <laughs>